All right, so I'm going to show you how I mix my two-stroke mixture uh, with gasoline and oil and marble mystery oil. So I use marble mystery oil in just about everything, but I really find that it works really well, uh, really well for two-stroke applications as well. So I'm going to show you how I do my mixture for uh, per gallon for small stuff. And it's going to go in this Husqvarna chainsaw. So I ha I do I have steel chainsaws personally, but all steel chainsaws and Husqvarna chainsaws all do 50 to 1 ratio. So um, I'm going to show you that. Okay, so first is first. Let's make the oil and gas mixture. You don't really you don't need to do marble mixture oil, but I find that it works really well. So for this one here, you see here it says. 12.8 fluid ounces are in this bottle, and this bottle makes five gallons. Um, my measuring cup is in milliliters. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's in milliliters. So, if you see here, it's 0.38 liters is this thing. And then there's a 1,000 milliliters per liter. So, what I'm going to do is do 0.38 times 1,000. So, this bottle has 380 milliliter, milliliters in it. All right, so I'm going to take 380. And divide that by five because this whole bottle makes five gallons. So for one gallon, you need 76 milliliters. So we're going to go pretty much to right here, which is 75. We're going to go a touch over. This is a fresh bottle. All right. So you want this to be on a flat surface if you can. And we're going to make 76. We're going to try to go for 76. All right, and a little more, 75, and a touch over. We're going to say that's 76. And I had a funnel, but I'm not going to need it. So we're going to pour that in there. And that will be our oil mixture. And we're going to let that drain in there cap that off okay so now we're good on that <clears throat> now the other thing I'm gonna do is I write I'm gonna write on this thing um, I'll make slash slash and put a four here that way next time I know I know I'll, my calculation I'll say oh, okay I only got four gallons left in this so okay now that that's drained in there so now I'm gonna do is my Marvel Mishiro so on the back here it says in fuel four ounces treats ten gallons all right, so I'm gonna do four ounces divided by 10 gallons is 0.4 ounces per gallon. And here, here's my conversion, 29.6 milliliters equals one ounce. So I'm gonna times my 0.4 times that by 29.6. I got 11.84 milliliters. Uh, yeah. So, this is my 25, 15, 10. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, 5, 10. So, we're going to hair over this 10. It's really not that much, but I got a little bit of oil in there, too. So, if you do more, it's no big deal. But, you want to get as accurate as I can. Alright, so, we're going to go... I'm going to say we have 10 there, and I'm just going to do a splash more because we got some oil in there as well. Like I said, over-treatment's not harmful. It even advertises that on the bottle. Okay, so I got a little bit of Marvel Mission right now. You're like, Brad, is that little bit really going to do much? I'm telling you, it stabilizes the gas, and trust me, it does make a difference. I promise you, I'm not making it up. Okay. So now, I got my mixture here. So the final thing I'm just going to do is swirl this puppy around. I'm just going to do that. That's all I'm doing. Swirling it, shaking it. Nothing crazy. Might have to leave off a little bit of pressure. And that is my mixture. 
So now we're good for all 50 to 1 ratio uh, two-stroke engines. All right, that's my video for today. Enjoy. Enjoy.